Another busy week for Zach Keith, compiling our Leifel Welding top five plays, but he did it, and Patrick tells us what made the cut this week. We start this week's top five off at Van Buren as the Black Knights are down 6 nothing with 20 seconds left before halftime as Brady Raider rolls out and finds Jacob Reisner in the end zone who makes the grab, stays in bounds, and we take a slower look at this one. Knights would get on the board. At the four spot, we have Archibald as they get ready to punt down 14 nothing, but Antonio Cruz goes full cruise missile, laying the boom to force the fumble. And then on the very next play, we'll call it 4B. Brandon Taylor keeps it up the middle for a huge touchdown and a turn of momentum as the Blue Streaks come from behind to win this one. Arlington takes this week's third spot early on against Ada as Jacob Russell finds Jarrett Vermillion on the broken coverage. He is all alone and takes it for the long touchdown. Speaking of long touchdowns, at number two, Spencerville comes in as the runner-up is Cannon Johnson gets the handoff up the middle and boom, boom, refuses to go down on his way to the end zone. And this week's top play comes from St. Mary's. And not only did Coach Fry go five wide, but threw in some chicanery there. They line up with one lineman and Brayden Dunlap finds Christian Triplett in the end zone for the touchdown with eight seconds before the half as the Rough Riders roll roughshod all over the Titans this week. And that's our Leifeld Welding Top 5. 